Hello guys and welcome to another monthly audit video. Um, thank you for showing up, uh, first of all. And uh, I hit 200 subscribers, so hooray. Um, thank you guys for all subscribing. Um, not going to do any video or anything for that. Um, just want to say thank you. I'm mean, sorry I haven't been uploading that much uh, with work. It's a pain in the butt to, first of all, find time and, you know, think of ideas and stuff. And this idea was just handed to me on a silver platter, so very easy for me. Um, but I have some more ideas for later on in the month and season and all that. Uh, something I want to address is I know that's so barren. The, I, the thing I had thought of for over there literally does not exist. I thought it did. Yes, it doesn't. Anyway, on to the actual topic of the video. All right, so let's get into my little stack here. So, the first item is a duplicate, but I only paid 50 cents for it, I think, or a quarter or something. I don't know. Um, so it's fine paying, you know, the two bucks for another one with a slipcover. Um... I also got digital with the first one, which was really awesome. Uh, the Greatest Showman. So I now have it with a slip. I haven't put it on the shelf yet. So gotta get. I, I have a lot of movies I haven't put on the shelf yet. Um, I literally have not had the time to. So yeah, no Greatest Showman. Love the slip on it. It looks great. Um, thought the Steelbook also looked awesome, but I don't have that that kind of money. So great. Uh, the regular blu-ray blu -ray will do um plus it doesn't have the you know bar at the top which i think is awesome um now in that same order um purchase on whatnot from my favorite whatnot family family um twice love 22 i'll put a link to their whatnot in the description um so that way you guys can join our little family that they've got going on there um so that's where all my whatnot purchases actually come from, because I don't buy from anybody else. Um, their prices are good. They're great people. They ship fast. You know, all that good stuff, right? But so I wasn't actually sure if this came with this order, because I haven't been writing down. Literally do not have the time. So I, I kind of had to guess here. This may have been just something that I forgot to do in last month's video. I don't know. feels like I got it longer ago. Um, Kingsman, The Secret Service. I also haven't watched it yet, um, which also might be why. Then again, I haven't watched a couple of these movies. But, and I also wasn't particularly looking, like, for this movie. Um, I've only seen one of the Kingsman movies, and it was a prequel movie, so that's why. Um, but this and The Great Showman, any of the movies I get from whatnot, they are $2 each. So I will bring that up when I get there. Um, I have, um, Secret Circle, or whatever, or Golden Circle, but it's in, um, it's Region A, I think, right, and I think, I think my player takes Region A, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, got this, cool. Um, so this order here, I'm gonna just do one price for both of them, it was nine, uh, 943. Um, and that's for two movies. Two movies. For $9.43. Okay. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Alright. So for this next order. I have. Um, Angel Has Fallen. Um, this was one I wasn't particularly thrilled um, to get. But I always try to buy three movies. Um, if I can. Just so that way I'm getting like the most for what I'm spending for shipping. Um, but I liked it enough. It was the movie of the series that I, I think I remember enjoying the most. Um, so I ended up going through and buying it. Um, I had found two other movies um, and I just needed that third one. And so I settled on this one because we were getting close to the end of the stream. Um, so here you go. Angels Fallen. It's in good shape. Slips in good shape. I try to get them with slips as much as possible. Because it's a really good price for a movie with a slip, right? Um, then, whoa, I almost fell over there. Next one, 
this was the first one I found, and I was so excited to see it because I got I would had it like I had called it out because it's a stack show, and then I thought it was the wrong one, so I put it back. But I got it back, guys. It's uh, Jumanji: The Next Level. Right, I like this one more than the the first one that they did of the reboot. Um, so glad I got it. Um, I don't think it comes with the digital movie. Yeah, it doesn't. But um, yeah, no. So this was the first one that uh, came up in the show. So yes, um, I jumped on it. And then the next one I was also looking at for a little while I was actually going to get the steel book. Um, but I was like, I haven't even seen this movie yet. Why get a steel book for it if I haven't seen it? Um, and, you know, I don't know if I'm even going to like it. Um, the, the case is a little bit, you know, dinged up for, you know, more than I would like. But um, two bucks, right? Uh, Captain Phillips. So, yeah. I thought I thought this was a rip. At the bottom here when I first opened it. And I had to look at it for a long solid minute before I realized it's a bow. So, yeah. Um, I don't think this comes with the digital either. But, yeah, no. Um, so $2 for each of these. $2 for all three of these movies. That's not a $3. That's not a 943 stack. That's a, um, at least like $12. Or something. So, how did I end up paying nine forty three for this? Well, that's where my uh, second shout out comes in. John Bender thirty seven. I think that was his name. Um, the number might be off. There might not even be a number. Um, but I remember there being a seven for some reason. Anyway, John Bender. Um, I had a movie. Um, I was looking for my third movie, right? In which case, ended up being Angels Fallen. Um, and uh, Wes had ended up saying, the, the one of the people running the stream, um, had ended up saying that Lincoln was a good movie and that, you know, somebody should give it a, a try. And so I was like, you know what, screw it. I like history and stuff and Civil War. I'll give it a go. So I was like, count me in, I'll watch it. Or I'll put it in my cart. And... You know, John Bender comes in and he says he just watched it last night and he really liked it. I was like, okay, well, you know what? He can have it instead. But, it, you know, it was already in my hands and uh, hands, virtual hands. And they were like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, 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 of course. If he's actually seen it, he knows he likes it. Give it to him, right? I haven't seen it. It was going to be a blind buy. Which, I mean, is what I do sometimes. But, um, so I gave it to him. And then he, a couple minutes later... Um, tipped two dollars to Wes and Jen, and he was like, N "Boundless's next movie is on me." And I was like, "Awesome!" So that's how I got that. Um, Angel has fallen for uh, free, basically. So thank you, John Bender. I I, I would have gotten another movie that show, but I guess that gives me an, an opportunity to get four movies in this next show. So thank you very much. Um. Which I actually can't even attend the next show, but because um, screw work, right? Um, but anyway, yeah. So thank you, John Bender. Thank you, um, Twice Love Twenty Two, Wes and Jen. All right. So let's get back to my final movie, which is actually a um, brand new release. Um, got it on release day, um, which is awesome. So I haven't seen this movie. I, I missed its brief theatrical window this year. Um, I was hoping they would re-release it for Halloween, but I guess not. Um, so, no, I, I ordered, or I pre-ordered the Steelbook, and uh, it arrived. And I was very surprised, because it came with something I wasn't expecting. Um, it is the Late Night with the Devil, uh... I believe this is 4K Steelbook. I don't think it's Blu-ray. Um, I have no clue, though, so... Oh, no, it is just Blu-ray. All right, that, I mean, that works for me, because I don't know how good my projector is with 4K. Um, 
but it's still a very nice looking uh, steelbook. Um, it looks better in person, trust me. Um, it's just because of the ring light that it, it kind of takes away from it, but it looks awesome in person. Here's the back side. Um, and we paid $26.94, I think, for this. That's a guess. I was going to check on Amazon, but there it's out of stock and there's no price listed. Um, but what surprised me was I didn't know that tucked behind all this goodness here was this. So it is a little Night Owls with Jack Delroy audience welcome pack from 1977. Um, so I'm going to open it. We're going to take a peek at what's inside here. All right, well, what do we got? Okay, so we got a little car air freshener. That's awesome. It's got the UBC TV. Logo there, cool. Um, I would assume this is a bookmark. Um, and it's of I I think it's there's a girl in the movie. Um, conversations with the devil. All right. Yeah, it looked like there was something else in here. Oh, there's a couple more things. Oh, the amazing uh, Christo, uh, psychic with telekinetic powers. He can talk with the dead military park hotel in Newark. There, I'll try to let you guys see that. Let's go. All right. Is there anything else? Okay. And then, oh, this is the coolest thing. All right. Thank you for coming to the show, uh, signed uh, Jack Delroy. That's awesome. Love that. Uh, if, if I, or once this set gets kind of redone in the new year, I'm going to probably put this up. Hopefully I'll have seen the movie by then. I intend on watching this in the coming weeks um, for Halloween. So that's awesome. Love that. I also got a couple posters and stuff um, for the for the new set because I do anticipate on kind of giving it an upgrade in the new year. Um, so yeah, all right. So that is my stack here. Um, I know it's not a crazy stack, and I've already done the tally up for you guys. And uh, well, I could have done a little better on the price. But we did have a new release. So here's the stack. All the titles are upside down, but that's okay. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so that's my stack. Um, there's a new release in here, and it's a steelbook, so that's um, a big contributor to it. Um, otherwise, $20 for one, two, three, four, five, for five movies, that's pretty good. Um, and then getting a new release in there, I think that's pretty good as well. Um, so October is a pretty big month for me. Um, my birthday is in October. Um, so I assume I'm going to be getting some presents and stuff. Um, there's a sale next week at my favorite place. Well, this weekend, when you guys are seeing this. My favorite place, The Archive. Um, a kind of like spooky month sale. Um, hopefully I'm going to be attending that. Um, if I can find time off work. Um, I probably won't, but, uh, yeah, no, um, so I really, uh, hope I can get some of these new releases that I've been sitting on for months, um, because I can't afford them. So, and then Christmas coming up a couple months, hopefully some new releases, hopefully a lot of new releases coming up. Um, so these are gonna be some bigger months for movies in terms of stacks. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, last year, we had a pretty big stack, um, for, just for my birthday alone. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, this video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. I really hope we can get to 300 even sooner than we got to 200. I have faith in us. I think we can do it. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.